Alright guys, so my tires that I just mounted on like three days ago are already leaking. I think I'm pretty sure it's the rim. I don't think it's the tires because my previous tire setup was actually leaking too and I wasn't running stretch on those. Last night, just to give you guys a visual, I filled my tires up. So I filled it up to 40 PSI last night and I'm gonna just do it right now. Let's see where they're at. There they are now, like 19. Last night, they were literally right here. And they're not even on the car, they're just sitting and they're leaking. What we're gonna do today is, we're gonna go back to the tire shop, take these there, and I'm gonna have them diagnose it and see where the leak is coming from. Without further ado, let's get ready for that. Take the time to tell you guys if you guys are watching this that I truly appreciate it. I appreciate each and one of you guys that watch my videos. Like a year or two ago, I never thought like anybody would be watching my videos or that this would be a thing. And I'm just thankful. Like it's always like good to just sit back and reflect like how far you've come, even though it's like not your end goal. Um, just to like appreciate and be thankful for how far you've came. And um, yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching the videos and subscribing and um, showing love to like the build and stuff. It means so much to me. I'm like two minutes away. So fingers crossed that this will be a minor problem. rebuild guy um, Chamora boy he's coming to the tire shop right now to pick the rims up so he can repair them he's coming in super clutch right now to take the rims off of me and um, hopefully it's a quick turnaround time and I can get these rims back on the car as soon as possible it's unfortunate that this happened but it's just a car you know things happen nothing's perfect really and there's always gonna be stuff you're gonna run into a little bit of bubbles are coming through there yeah that's but that's just what we're seeing. Huge freaking shout out to Chamora Boy. Oh my gosh. He's the one that rebuilds my wheels. He rebuilt the two VSKFs that were black. He rebuilt them to fully polished. And um, those are on the car right now. Those are perfectly fine. Nothing's wrong with them. Um, so where I showed you, it was leaking along that like crack area. See, they don't put the seal right there. It's the silicone seal that goes in the middle of the barrel. Like that attaches the barrel, the face, and the lip together. Silicone seal that wraps around that's actually the cause of the leak. So what happens is if that silicone seal is damaged or peeling of any some sort, um, air pushes through that and then it comes out through like where I showed you guys where it was leaking. Chamora Boy is taking in my rims now on such a short notice. 
and he's gonna fix them today and the tires will be ready to mount tomorrow because you have to wait 24 hours to fully cure and like dry up truly appreciate it Chamorro boy if you're watching this on such a short notice he's taking in my rims to be fixed today and um yeah I couldn't have worked out any better super thankful for that so go hit him up if you guys need any wheel rebuilds wheel repairs polish your wheels powder coat them literally anything with your wheel hit him up Chamorro boy 86 so yeah that guy's awesome shout out to you man so on that note um, I won't have the rims if all goes well. I won't have the rims till tomorrow. It's just another day without the car. Some little fixes and we should be good to go. So I think that's gonna end the video off today. If you guys are having leaking problems with your wheels, um, hopefully I helped you guys with some sort of knowledge as to where it's leaking from, why it's leaking, um, or if you guys have any questions, that I may have not answered. Um, just feel free to comment down below or DM me on Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video, hopefully when I can put these back on the car. All right, peace out.